Knowing the number pad shortcuts on the right side of your keyboard can save you a lot of time with viewport navigation, precise camera setup, 3D cursor placement, and probably a few other things as well. If you hit 1, it'll give you a front view. You can see this in the top left corner. 3 gives you a side view from the right, and 7 gives you a view from the top. You can also hit 9 to view from the opposite side that you're currently viewing from. So if you want to view from the bottom, you can hit 7 to go into top view, and then hit 9. Alternatively, you could also hit Control 7 as Control shows you the opposite side. Notice that it says orthographic here. This means that there is not going to be perspective. And you can toggle this on and off with 5. You can also use 2, 4, 6, and 8 to rotate the viewport in 15 degree increments. Then you can also hit Control plus 2, 4, 6, and 8 to pan in increments. You can also hit Shift and 4 or 6 to do another kind of rotation that kind of cants the viewport. This can be a little disorienting if you do this and try and orbit your object. Zero will show you your current camera view, but be careful of control zero as it makes your current object into your camera. So if you do this, you have to select your camera and press control zero again. This used to mess me up when I did it accidentally. The period slash delete key zooms in and allows you to rotate around your currently selected object. Slash isolates the current object or objects in local view and pressing it again will bring you out of local view. Pressing plus or minus will zoom you in and out. Having those shortcuts memorized will really improve your workflow, so here's a list of those shortcuts for your reference.